This is a Coast Starlight. Um, long distance train, two stories. Uh, and this is the only long distance train that goes on these tracks at Vancouver, Washington. The Empire Builder boards on the other side. And I've been on this train many times, uh, but today not because I am waiting for the Empire Builder to come over this bridge and I'm going to board on the east um, here in Vancouver, Washington. So that happens in about 30 minutes. This has a little diorama of a historical railroad thing. So if you're spending some time here in Vancouver Amtrak Station, you can look at this. Well, I'm really foaming today. This is an Amtrak Cascades that just pulled in. So this is um, Vancouver to Portland or Seattle Union. I don't know this particular time, um, but this is the service that goes there. And it shows how much train travel is picked up that like a northbound long distance train and a short regional train or corridor train stop just a couple minutes from each other. You can see the parking lot is packed. Um, and of course, when the Empire Builder comes, that will be a much, uh, that's a once a day train. So, and you know, as I go through the cities, it'll be a little bit less busy, but uh, Vancouver Amtrak is very busy with trains. So I made reference in an earlier video from a year and a half ago um, about Vancouver Amtrak, the Vancouver Amtrak station that the bridge south of it is a uh, turntable style bridge. And it looks here that the uh, bridge has turned around to be parallel to the river course and perpendicular to the tracks. And also because the Empire Builder has to go over that bridge, um, that might delay the Empire Builder, but we're still 15 minutes out, so there's a good chance it could, it's gonna turn around before that happens. And I don't know if it's apparent from here or how easily it is to see, easy it is to see, but you can see there's a boat going by, a tugboat of some sort, and that might be why the bridge is open, or maybe it's open for several boats at once. Uh, but we're still waiting on the Empire Builder, and it is two minutes delayed, but it's supposed to be here in 10 minutes. So um, I don't know if that boat was what we're waiting for, and we'll see how soon before they can rotate this closed. With Beijing and White Salmon, Wishlam, Pasco, and Spokane, all the way east to Chicago. And as you can see, the bridge is closed. I took a time lapse video of it, and as you can hear, the, it is. Uh, expect to be here please so I'm gonna go over there and wait one other thing uh, to mention is that uh, the weather today got pretty hot for early May it got up to um, the high 80s maybe even to 90 and uh, normally waiting outside is nice but today I stayed in the station long especially you look at this neighborhood industrial neighborhood it's it pretty hot here so I'm still waiting another couple minutes for that train 15 people waiting to get on here and here we can see it coming that's the Empire Builder. Uh, this is the half consist because it's joining up with the other half uh, from Seattle and Spokane, so it's shorter than it would be. It's going to be at least twice this long. Okay, I'm putting my camera down and getting on this train. We are underway. This is the Vancouver waterfront, all the new development. We're going pretty slow right now. We'll start speeding up in a while, I hope. On the other hand, I have eight hours to wait in Whitefish, so if this goes slow. I don't care. I think that was Wentworth Park right there. I slept out in that park. That was 16. Uh, not a lot visible, but we are picking up speed. Oh yeah, and there you can see the river and uh, see PDX across there. So yeah, we're going faster now. I like it. We're passing by Government Island, um, which is in between Oregon, Washington. Well, it's in between the mainland of Oregon, Washington. It's an Oregon State Park, as far as I know. If it's not, I'm going to edit that part out. Um, and that's only accessible, the bridge crosses over it, but it's only accessible um, by boat. If you're a boat camper, it's a nice place to go. Now, I forgot if I said this in my earlier Empire Builder, but right now we're passing through Washougal, and I have some very early half memories of trains and looking out my window and seeing trains pass in one of these houses here, don't know which one. Um, and it's one of those things where it's 
as Adventure Time said, memory of a memory. And also, mostly, you can see glare and blackberry bushes. This is Washougal, and we're about to pass out of Clark County. And quickly enough, we have left the Portland area, we left Washougal, and we are in the gorge, and it feels nice. Kind of hard to get uh, to capture footage, and uh, I might just put this down and just stare out the window for a while. So there's the tunnel that kind of, you know, marks the transition. Passing through North Bonneville, and we will see Bonneville Dam in a minute. Or I will. Don't know if we'll show up through the glare. So we literally can only see the dam through the train. But it's a nice shot, nice sight of the dam. A lot of things to look at along the gorge. There you can see Hood River, and uh, I missed the Bridge of the Gods, but there is Hood River, and uh, it's a beautiful view of the mountain. At least it's beautiful visually. I don't know how it how it works through the camera. So as you can see here, we're drawing to the end of the Columbia, the forested and uh, dramatic part of the Columbia River Gorge, and we're about to enter the stark part when we pass the Dalles. And that's my technical th definition, the stark part of the Columbia River Gorge. Time for a train dinner. Stopped in uh, Bingham White Salmon. Okay. For what? Why are you, why are you proud of me for knowing a video game that's been out for like five years? As you can see, that's a quite long freight train on the other side of the river. If you look here, you can see there is a west going train and an east going train next to each other, and they're both quite large. Um, so, this freight uh, corridor on both sides of the river is very busy. And on the north side of the river, we also have um, passenger rail, obviously. Um, and one of the problems with extending passenger rail and more frequent service is a um, really important freight corridor along the Columbia River here. There's a small voice crying on the other side of the river. It's too late to call her now. Train has slowed down through here. And it's hard to tell if that's going to actually delay the trip or if they'll just make up for it because some of this is built in. So we've stopped to let a train pass. Might be here for a while. Um, one thing is, is that I'm coming into Whitefish and I have an, actually about eight hours there. So being a little bit late or even a lot late, not a problem and actually a bonus for me. Um, but I don't think we'll actually be that much delayed. So this train was going slowly, like maybe five miles per hour passed, and then it stopped. Is it moving again? Very, very slowly. Um, yeah, so at this point, it's, I don't know, been a 10 or 20 minute, 15, 20 minute delay, and oh, now it's moving again. Um, so this is part of long distance train travel on Amtrak. look in that direction you can see there's light on the top of the hills sun is set here behind the hills but um, still some light and uh, like I said a long time ago on the coast starlight this video is kind of not with a bang but a whimper um, and this is actually a really beautiful part of the Amtrak network but right now I'm just not feeling it and uh, you know, I've shown some of it, and this trip will go on, but for now, I don't really have anything to say, and to be honest, I'm kind of tired and sad, um, but hopefully you can still appreciate everything, and there will probably be more updates until I fall asleep, but the sun is going down, so it'll get more dim. Now it's time for a bathroom view. Woo! Uh, actually, these restrooms are 
new to me, and I've written the Empire Builder a lot of times, and the coach looks the same, but the setup is modern and nicer, and there I am. Um, yeah, and it feels it's clean so far. Let's see how long that lasts. Actually, it's like the like rave bathroom, just like on the uh, Flix bus. Anyway, I'm going to go back upstairs after showing another facet of the train. So somewhere over there, that's Umatilla or somewhere around Umatilla in Oregon. And pretty soon the bus is going to be turning to the north um, and going through Pasco. Oh, wow. And of course, when um, I was doing this in July, we was light later and light earlier. But today, this is far we're going to see. Um, and this is a pretty big tourist route and stuff, but I'm not really feeling that energy here. Um, it's not doesn't feel partyish like the Coast Starlight. Although there are people talking stuff in the background. Anyway, um, this is kind of boring footage. So I'll just say this trip is part of a longer trip and there's other videos, blah, blah, blah. So hopefully this piece of the mosaic will make sense in context. And uh, now I'm going to bed and I'll start up tomorrow.